Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I'll be guiding you through a yin yoga practice that is perfect for those days when you're looking for a deep stretch but you don't have a lot of time and you still want to get in your yin yoga practice. So we're only going to be moving through three postures today. We will be holding each posture for approximately five minutes in length and you will need three blocks. If you don't have three blocks you can always use two. Three is not necessary. So go ahead grab your blocks and we will go ahead and get started. Our first pose will be swan. So finding your tabletop position, we'll start with the right side first. We're going to step the right foot to the top of the mat, just outside the right pinky finger. And from here, you're going to scoot your right foot over and behind your left wrist, bringing your knee down behind your right wrist and your foot down behind the left. So just glancing now at your shin, you want a nice long line from your knee to your big toe. And what I like to do is I move the fleshy part of my calf forward, just gives me some space. Squaring off your hips to the top of the mat, untuck your left toes, finding length here. And on the exhale, slowly coming down onto your forearms. And of course, you can come all the way down onto your forehead or your hands. That feels, feels good for you right now. Just remembering you're trying to meet the pose, not come into it right away. Really trying to soften the belly. The jaw. Maybe you open, noticing how much pressure you're pushing into your elbows. Maybe you open them up a little bit wider. Really trying to find areas where you're, you're gripping or you're holding. I know for me that's my head. I have a tendency to tense my neck and my head.
So coming in to our last few breaths here. Maybe seeing if you can find length through the fingertips, length through the back toes. Last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale, fill up. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Push into your palms, coming all the way back up. Lean your weight into your right hip and swing that left leg forward. Bend both knees, just come to lay down onto your back for a moment. Gently from here, you can winch a wiper the knees from side to side. Really just noticing the openness in the right side. And from here, we'll roll to one side, push ourselves up, and do the same thing on the other side. So this time we'll step forward with the left foot. So taking the left foot to the outside of the left pinky finger. And then shimmy your left foot behind the right wrist, bringing the knee and the shin to the floor. And then you want a nice long line from your knee to your big toe. And again, I move the fleshy part of my calf forward. It just makes the pose more comfortable. Square off my hips to the top of the mat and untuck my right toes. Finding length here. And on the exhale, begin to fold down onto your forearms. All the way down. Nice soft belly, jaw, toes,
And again, noticing any areas that you might be tensing. Maybe you're tensing in the elbows and the shoulders. Maybe it's the neck, the head. Maybe it's the pelvic floor. So trying to find length through the fingertips and the toes. Last two breaths, nice big inhale, fill up, and side out. One more inhale, and exhale. Gently lift the gaze, push into the palms, walk yourself all the way back up. Lean your weight into your left hip, swing that right leg forward. You can keep the knees bent or straighten them. And we'll just make our way onto our backs. Just for a brief moment. And very gently from here, you can windshield wiper the knees from side to side. You 
feel your knees and towards your chest. And we'll rock up. Find our tabletop position again. We're going to find a malasana squat. So grab one of your blocks and just bring it beside you so you have it handy. And we'll make our way into a squat. So you want your toes pointing in the same direction as your knees. And then you wanna stick your bum back, bring your chest forward, and then sink down. So if when you come down, your ankles lift up off the floor or maybe you're tipping forward, it's always comfortable to bring the block and sit on the block. And you can bring your hands to prayer and use your elbows to gently open up on the knees. So we are coming into our last few breaths here. If you'd like to take this arm stretch with me, you're going to take your right arm out and beside you. So your right hand is facing the back of the room. You're going to bring the top of your hand to the side of your right hip. And you're going to bring your elbow to the inside of your right knee. So right away you should be feeling a nice stretch in the top of the arm. We'll do the same thing for the other side. It's a little bit intense, but feels nice. And of course you can control the intensity with your knees. So if you squeeze your knees in a little bit more, of course that increases the intensity. Take our last two breaths, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently release the hands if you had them there. You can bring your arms up and over. twist and we'll set ourselves up for our final pose which will be a heart opener it'll be nice and relaxing especially if when you do a heart opener on blocks and you have a hard time keeping your arms open or maybe it's a little tight in that area I'm going to show you an option that you can use to make it just a little bit more comfortable so taking your blocks you're going to place the first one on its highest height 
second one on its second highest height, and that third block, you're gonna place it around the top block on its second highest height. So for this one, I'm going to take a reclined heroes. You don't have to take reclined heroes. You can always take reclined butterfly if that is more suitable for you. So bringing your knees nice and wide if you are taking heroes and sit your weight back into your the saddle you've created with your feet. Sprinkle your fingertips beside you, pick your hips up and then tuck your tailbone under, making space and then bring your hips back down onto your heels. Placing the block so that when you come down, you're able to hug the block with your elbows, or sorry, with your shoulder blades. And then your head rests nicely on the top block. And then that third block is there so that if you'd like, you can take your arms up and over, grabbing onto opposite elbows. And then you allow your arms, your forearms to rest on that top block. And of course, if you don't have the block, you can always just cactus the arms, interlace your fingers, or even just have them out beside you. And if you do have them out beside you, just making sure you feel that sense of, of a drop back. So you want the shoulders to drop back, sink back. into our last few breaths here. our last two breaths. A nice big inhale, fill up. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. So if you 
you had your arms up above, bring them back down beside you and push your elbows, your forearms into the floor. So if you're in butterfly, rolling to one side and moving the blocks with your hand. If you're in recline heroes, same thing, gently push up. You're gonna to lean to one side, unravel your feet from underneath you, remove the blocks. And come to lay all the way down onto your back. Just taking a few moments here before we we'll find a twist, before we find Shavasana. Let's gently draw the knees in towards the chest. Rock from side to side. Let's drop both knees to the right, gaze to the left. center, other side. Both knees drop to the left, gaze to the right. center. We'll find that double wind relieving pose. So let's wrap our arms around our knees. Grab onto your feet. You're going to squeeze into a nice tight ball for three. For two. Take a nice big inhale. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And exhale, release. Extend your legs out wide, arms out wide for your Shavasana.
feeling free to stay here for as long as you'd like. I hope you enjoyed today's practice. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed today's practice. And I will see you back here again soon. Have a wonderful day.